Today I'm going to talk about two different ways of copying an object in Inkscape and three ways of making many copies of the same object. First, let's start with Ctrl C and Ctrl V. We want to draw an object. I'm going to select here the rectangle tool and then I draw a perfect square. And I want to select this and then I take Ctrl C and Ctrl V and you notice that a copy was made slightly close to this original one. Next, we look at Ctrl D. Let's draw this time around a cycle and then we give it a color, a reddish color. And if we go here and do the selection and take Ctrl D, we notice that the object became thicker. This is because the object has been doubled and to take away the doubled object, we can hold the control key down that is going to constrain it in the vertical direction or the horizontal direction. The next tool is the spray tool. For this, let me draw some polygons. I select the polygon tool and then I draw here. I want to have a star and let me give it a green color. The spray tool is found down here. So I hit the spray tool and then if I come on my page, I then can spray the stars as many as I wish. But we notice that it is spread in a disorderly manner. The next possibility is to move objects while hitting the space bar. For this, I'm going to draw a polygon this time around. So I draw a star and then change it to the polygon. And I want to give it a gray color just like it is there. And if we select this object and then start pulling it down and hitting the space bar, we will notice that we are making copies just as we go. We can take it any direction we want and keep on producing the copies for as much as we want. The next possibility is the clone tool. For that, I've gone ahead and drawn a rectangle here and then I select by using the selection tool and while the object is selected, we go here to edit and then down here to clone and on the right, we're going to see the possibility create clone. So if we select that, we'll have a clone produced on top of the original object. We can pull this to the side and let it stay there. The interesting thing about clones is that we have this clone which has been produced, which is the daughter, and this is the parent. If we were to change this parent in any way, watch what happens to the daughter. The daughter is also modified accordingly. The clone tool has much more functionality. For this, let me draw another smaller cycle here. And then we select this by hitting the space bar. We could have selected also by going here to using the selection tool. So once this is selected, I go here to edit and then again clone. And here we're going to see create tight clones. I select that. And here we have the possibility to define the number of rows and columns. We'll just leave them now at two times two. Let's go and say create. And then we close that. And we notice we have a tiled structure that has been created. Similarly, like up here, this is the parent and these are the daughters. If we select the parent and we try to change it in any way, it's going to apply to the daughters equally. Now these changes are applying because the daughters here are linked to their parents. If we look at the clone menu by going again to edit and then clone, we'll see that there's a possibility to unlink the clone or to relink to copy it. We also have the possibility to select original or to clone to an original path. This was a short video to show you five different ways of copying in Inkscape which can have different functionalities in different places where you'll be doing illustrations. If you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing below and do not forget to give a thumbs up. Otherwise, see you in the next video.